Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome to your May 2018 reading. This is a general reading for you Scorpio, so if you would like a personal reading with me face to face or pre-recorded you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there which is going to be much more specific to you and where you are at on your spiritual journey or on your life's journey. You can also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. Or you can listen to all three and get more depth and detail in your from your reading. Uh, and that may resonate more for you as well. So let's have a look at what is in store for you for May. April, the last two weeks of April were a bit bumpy with Saturn um, up to its old his old tricks, um, stirring up a whole lot of things from the past, the great teacher. Some people found that energy quite overwhelming. I certainly did. Um, glad to have that move on uh, because it can be quite challenging. So I hope it, you didn't uh, have too much too much angst with, with Saturn doing its thing the end of April. So let's have a look. Where um, in the recent past, you know, in the position of the re recent past, you've got the, the Empress here. And uh, that's a beautiful card. It's a card of complete fulfillment and joy and abundance, birth of new ideas, birth of a child, birth of new projects, um, the enjoyment of the finer things in life bringing in uh, all those you know luxury beauty so it's you've been in a really lovely uh, space moving moving into May coming into May you've got some <clears throat> some challenges coming up initially you've got some decisions that you need to make there's decisions and choices that you're needing to make and you may find that there's some res you have some resistance to to that uh, resistance in in um, being able to make those those decisions for various reasons it's going to, the reasons are going to be different for each of you scorpio because it's just, you're just the, there's so many diverse situations but there there is a, a situation that's going to arise for you and some situations will be harder than others for some scorpios uh, than other scorpios but it's a a situation where there's going to be some resistance in you about making that decision or making that choice. For some of you, it's, um, you know, if you're a retirement age, I'm feeling like, well, will I retire or won't I? Will I go to part-time work or will I stay in full-time employment or uh, will I stop completely? Um, you know, it's the uncertainty of what the future holds once you, you finish work because that's, your identity that's who you are so there's some difficulty there there's other other for others of you I what I'm hearing is will we have a child or not uh, it's about birth of a child so that's that's where the empress is here you know it's about the birth of a child will will we attempt you know we'll try and have a child now or will we wait a little bit longer um, you know what's going you know what what decision will we make financially? Where are we sitting? Uh, for some of you, it's about, I want to say, for some Scorpios, it's about selling of a house or a property. Will we sell the property now? Will we wait a few months? Will we hold on to it? You know, what are we going to do? And there's this sort of toing and froing and difficulty in making a solid decision about that. For some of you, it's about uh, a promotion that's being offered to you. Wow, there's so many different situations that they're throwing at me. There's, it's a, a promotion that's being offered to you and um, whether or not to take that added responsibility. Um, I, is, there the, is the money that you're going to get, if there is an increase in money, is that going to um, be worth the extra hours and the stress and the responsibility? So there's decisions and choices to be made with that uh, as well. For some of you, it's... Um, Wow, it's children asking you to babysit. Do we want to take on that obligation? Do we want to take that responsibility? How are we going to get out of this without offending anyone? So there's so many different situations coming up here. Um, 
and you know wondering what what the right choice and decision is to make what's crossing that is i f- i want to say to you just be my see this is this is about theft it's about deception um to be mindful of that but i feel like it's more i want you to be mindful of you not being used be mindful that you're not being used if you're going to take a promotion and they're not going to pay you any extra are they using you um you know is there's got to be an exchange of energies here are they using you if um if you're being asked to babysit um you know how much of that are you willing to take on and how much of it is going to tie you down and be obligated? You know, there's this unfairness, this unfairness of balance and that's what this is about, you know, this that's what this is about. Um, if you're um, selling a house, I want to say to you, be mindful of who's selling it. You know, really look at the real estate agents or the agency that's selling the house, that's advertising for you. Just read the contract. So I'm feeling like I want to say to you, read the contract, read the fine print. If you're signing anything, if you're moving, if you're taking anything on, read the fine print, really think about it. And that could be part of the difficulty in making this decision that's around you. Um, Really look at it, look at the ins and outs, you know, look at the ins and outs. Um, Because you've got the knowledge, you've got the experience and you've got the wisdom from situations that have happened to you in the past. You can take that on and build on it. Don't dismiss what you've learned in the past uh, and think, oh, well, that's not going to happen again or these are different people or it's a different situation. It may be a different scenario, but the lessons may be the same and you've done them before. So really, really, really look at the what you've brought with you from your past, what you've learned in the past what you've learnt in the past um, as well. Um, I want to say too, if you're you're a Scorpio that is studying, if you're a Scorpio that is studying, there's some sort of situation around an assignment or friends. Who's cheating? Who's copying you? Who's who's using you um, to better their own grades or marks? Or uh, is there cheating going on? Um, is someone using you so that came up so just be mindful of that just be mindful of that you know because things don't need to be hard for you Scorpio because the difficulties have you've come it comes to a close this is the ten of swords the ten is the end of a cycle so the swords is the difficulties is battles is is hard times um, you know that's coming to an end, it's coming to a close, but it could also be um, stabbing in the back. It could also be carrying this burden of all these arguments and all these hassles and all these, you know, dishonesty and, and everything else that's going on around you. So which Scorpio are you? What's going on with your situation? Are you seeing a clearing of those situations and there's an ending uh, ending in sight where there's new beginnings coming in or are you still carrying that baggage and that burden from the past so you know it can be either or um, in that case so you really need to look at your situation and think about what are you are you letting it go and moving on or are you carrying it on your back are you carrying it you know and I think a lot of you are letting it go because what's coming up here is this peace is this harmony? Is this tranquility? Is this um, feeling good at home? This happiness, you know, this security that you feel. Um, you know, when you think about, when you fret, reflect about home, it's about security and love and comfort and just safety. That's coming up for you. You're going to be shown all of that. So you're going to be, you will be able to make these decisions that are coming up but carrying with you all this harmony and abundance and peace uh, and bringing it forward. So once you get over this working out um, and making a decision about whatever situation it is for you, you do, it does move you, it does bring back the balance. So this is this is going to be a short time in May and then it's going to settle and you'll you'll feel comfortable about that you know you'll feel comfortable about that you know it's 
um, this is this is the outcomes. This is what's going on in May. So there is abundance here, and abundance in health, in happiness, in money, um, you know, in tranquility, in family. It, it's abundance in all things. It's not just financial, but you will have, you will be feeling it. So it's like peace is coming. You know, there's peace coming. Uh, there is tranquility. There is abundance. You're thankful for what you have around you, um, and you know the friends that you've got around you, and any any situations that come about for you any any little battles any little problems it's you've got a support system and they're, they're little things that you can actually make them quite fun you can laugh about them you can say well okay there's this little issue, issue here but hey I've been through worse this is a breeze I can make these you know they're not it's nothing major it's just life's little uh, little situations and little inconveniences that are going to come up for you but you'll you'll handle them and you'll move on and it'll be it'll be a It'll be fine. And, you know, it is about really what, it, you know, looking at your life. Your cup is, your cups runneth over with goodness, with family, with, with, um, all the, all the good things, you know, all the lovely things. To get to this point, you need to really, um, honor yourself, be true to yourself, and make the decisions of what people are asking of you so that it's comfortable with you. You know, as long as you're comfortable with it, as long as you're happy with the situation, then that's it, that's fine. You know, but just do it because uh, it's what you want, it's what where the direction you want to be moving in and what you want from it. You know, what you want from it, it's going to, um, you know, the outcome here is. For some of you, this is a person, male or female, male or female, um, you know, and it's Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Um, that's around you. That is a big impact in your life. That is there. That is, um, there's a lot of interaction with them. There's a lot of, um, they're just a big part of your life. Um And it's more a part of your life where you're doing things for them rather than them doing things for you. It's your you're doing things for them. It can be male or female. Um, <clears throat> and for some of you, it is actually you. It is you really learning to think about things, learning to think about things, process things, make decisions after after a lot of thought, um, but do it with you're doing it with confidence. Um, you know, with the Queen of Swords, you're doing it with confidence, you're doing it with balance, you're doing it, uh, there's nothing that's done um, out of anger or, or, or out of, uh, you know, in quick answers. It's, they're all premeditated, they're all thought about, they're all processed. And so maybe that's the lessons that you've been learning, you know, um, moving you forward. So you've got this, you, you, you and exit May with this, a newfound confidence within yourself, which is really lovely. So that's an interesting month you've got ahead for you. I like it though. The energy is really lovely, you know, really lovely. Once you get over that, let's make a decision and you work out what decision you want to make. I'm going to give you a card from the Oracle of Visions. Look at these beautiful cards. That's the back. They're gorgeous. The Oracle of Visions, and I'm going to all my cards. I the decks that I use, I do write them in my information uh, below. And so, if you're ever, you know, you, you would like to know what they are that I'm using, it's listed there. Um, I have quite a few decks, but I do have my favourites. I've got to say. So let's have a look. I'm going to draw one card from this Oracle of Visions deck and see what energy, un overlying energy, is is around you here we go that's come out so let's have a look this is lovely look at this so it's you know dealing with life on an emotional level and you are a water sign so you know this suit this this is just you're at home here you know you're just at home here it's going beneath 
the surface it's going in quite deep but it's this beautiful space so going internally to this beautiful garden this beautiful space that is within you where you're feeling at peace it doesn't matter how how deep you go with your emotions because you see you've got this bubble here and it's full of air I mean breathing's easy life is easy you're also protected so if you go you can go to any length any depth with your emotions um, and there's you're protected you're protected by anything that's going to be um, a danger or, or you'll be short of air or oxygen and that's our life force uh, around you. Um, so I also want to say to you, if you're single, if you're a scorpion and you're single, then it's uh, going to be a month of opportunity to go beneath the surface with your emotion, to meet that special person um, and really explore your emotions, how how you can go how deep you can go how much you can really feel without having fear of of being hurt because there's a protection around you um, and you can see all the beauty but on the on the ocean floor you can admire all of that from this safety of this bubble that you've created yourself you see so that's absolutely beautiful so I wish you a a very very uh, good May. I wish you many many blessings and I will see you mid-month for the mid-month reading.